Before we actually start coding to work with our next project, you're going to have to have images. And I want you to have between 5 and 10, 10 images. If you don't want to use your own images, you can go out to Pixabay. Pixabay has all sorts of free images, so I just did a search on puppies because, well, puppies are cute. Um, you don't want to use the ones up at the top that say Shutterstock. Those you'd have to pay for. But at Pixabay, all the images that are Pixabay images, if you like the image, you can select the image, you can get a free download for it, and these are free for commercial use, no attribution is required, so these are all free to use. So if you're not using your own photos, please use Pixabay or another source of public domain images. Now a lot of people I know keep most of their images up on Facebook, so I'm going to show you how to get your images off Facebook. So as usual, I like dogs. This is my dog, his name is Ollie Bear. And so I want to use this picture of Ollie Bear. So I'm going to drag it over here. These are going to come out with hideous names. I'm going to grab three or four images that I like. Ollie Bear. And I need some of his sister. That's Nessie. And let's see if I can get one more. Nessie and Ollie. Okay, so I now have four images. Now that I have those four images and I've saved them to my desktop. Okay, let's open up my folder here. So I'm going to show it in Explorer. There's my folder. I want all of these images in my folder. Okay. Now that I'm in my Windows Explorer, those are hideous names. I don't want to have to retype them. I'm going to select each one. And I also want to change my view here. To extra large icons. Okay. Now I can rename, we'll call it Ollie 1, we'll have this one rename Ollie Cool, and typically on these you use hyphens, and rename Ollie Nessie Play. And rename Nessie Ball. All right, so I've got them all in my folder here. And this you have to do, and they're all JPEG, and they're all spelled, all lowercase, reasonably named, and spelled with a .jpg lowercase. This is now set up where I can do my programming. Before you even look at doing your programming with images, get your, and I want you to have, like, five or six images. I've done for it's enough to show you what I'm going to do with them. But get your images into your folder before you go any further. We'll start programming in the next video.